Do y'all notice how quiet Angelo has been since uh, those text messages came out of his wife? Um, Alice telling Azriel to seduce R. Kelly, to go fuck him, to go suck him, to, ooh, give him a massage, girl. If you don't do it, girl, he find another girl to do it, girl. Y'all notice how quiet Pimplo, a.k.a. Angelo Clary, has been? Normally, he would have made a YouTube video cussing everybody out. Why is he so quiet? I think for the first time, he realizes that uh, the days are numbered. The feds are coming to get him. The feds are coming to get Angelo Clary and Alice Clary. Um, and they're going to be pretty uh, harsh charges. I think they're going to get him on the Man Act. Because especially if the feds um, have to overturn this verdict and let our Kelly go, they're going to flip the narrative and say, well, now we're going to go after the parents because the parents really did violate the Man Act. And um, we got to go after them and hold everybody accountable. La, 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 la. That's what they're going to do. These people thought running to the feds was sexy. They thought getting on the phone and talking with them people was cute. They thought the feds were never going to turn on them. They thought that the people were never going to find out how depraved they are. You send your daughter to a grown man's hotel room as a mother. You tell her to, to make sure she looks innocent because you heard R. Kelly like young girls. So you say, make sure you look innocent. Get that lipstick off. Look as young as possible. Sit on his lap. Entice him. This whole time, R. Kelly thought this girl was 18. Because she lied about her age. Her mama lied about her age. They set him up. They set him up and the feds knew this and they still went along with charges against an innocent man knowing that these nasty, depraved, greedy, unfit parents set him up. They sent their daughters there. I knew it day one. I didn't have to see no text messages. I looked at the behavior from day one and I said, nah, this is set up. Because Black people understand black people. And we understand uh, how black people who scam behave. Alice Clary is a whore. She pimped her daughter. This is pimping and pandering. This is violating the Man Act. I don't understand why it's taking the Fed so long to hold these people accountable. It's like... They don't even care about black girls. If this was really about little black girls, these parents would have been arrested. Everybody would have been arrested. But no, it was just about R. Kelly because of his name. They wanted a big name. They wanted a big name. They didn't, you know, and um, the parents thought they got away with it. But um, I'm telling you right now, knowing how the feds operate, they'll flip the narrative right quick. They'll say, well, after further investigation, we realized that R. Kelly really didn't violate the Man Act. It was Angelo Clary, Alice Clary, and then Tim Savage helped him, and they're going to get all of them. Goofy niggas. These some goofy-ass folks. Who goes and calls the feds willingly? Who goes and calls the feds willingly? Especially when you're a criminal like Angelo, who's been to the feds. Why would you invite them people in your house willingly? Why would you go on Surviving R. Kelly and holler your daughter kidnapped and got your wife throwing rocks when she was the one 
telling her daughter, go suck them, girl. Go fuck them, girl. Ooh, you're going to have his kids. My son-in-law going to be older than me. Ha, ha. Oh, my God, you're riding on the tour bus. I'm so excited. She throwing rocks. On surviving R. Kelly. I can like. She didn't know what happened to her daughter. I can like R. Kelly. Grabbed her daughter. Had the whole world believing it. I never believed it. I was watching surviving R. Kelly. First time and I was laughing. I was like R. Kelly didn't do this shit. He didn't kidnap that. Slutty whore. I said that little girl's a whore. And her mama looked like a big hog. I'm tired of these people, man. In all my years, my mama has never told me anything like what Alice Clary has told her daughter. My mama never sent me over no man house. Go fuck them, girl. Go get them, girl. Ooh, make sure you rub him down tonight, girl. My mama never told me nothing like that. That's not a parent-child conversation as a grown woman. And even though I'm grown now, she's not going to tell me nothing like that. That's just weirdo shit. That's weirdo shit. Go fuck them, girl. Go rub them down, girl. He married Aaliyah because Aaliyah was feisty. You got to be feisty. They brought up Aaliyah, not R. Kelly. R. Kelly never told that girl he was going to make Aaliyah. I don't think R. Kelly even talked to these people about Aaliyah. They lied and said he brought up Aaliyah um, to really uh, get at the heartstrings of the public to say, oh, my God, R. Kelly using Aaliyah to lure little black girls. That was the narrative. But they were the ones bringing up Aaliyah to him and bringing up Aaliyah in their text messages. And if Angelo was a real stand-up nigga, he would come out and disown his wife. But he's still sticking by her because he know he's involved. He's been involved from the start. But look at him. He he might flip the script on her, y'all. Angelo might come out here and say, you know what? My wife did all of this. She in the text messages, not me. Um, I didn't have no knowledge of it. And I'm filing for divorce and I'm asking for her to be investigated and I'm going to turn evidence in on her. Um, that's what she might, that's what he might do. He, he might flip on her to, to get a lighter sentence. I could see him doing that. I could see him doing that. Why the feds taking so long to go after these parents? You see Tim Savage over there. He, he couldn't even condemn Angelo when he did his live video. He couldn't even condemn Angelo and Alice. He said, ooh, he not going to talk about it. Ooh, he can't put his mouth on them people. He not going to talk about another family because, you know, you involved with it. Ask yourself, how come the feds never charged R. Kelly with anything relating to Joycelyn? After all the hooping and hollering that um, Tim Savage and and Jodjalin have done, why didn't the feds charge R. Kelly with anything related to Joycelyn? Because they never believed the savages. They knew the savages were lying from day one. R. Kelly has never had a charge relating to Joycelyn. Tim Savage lied. The feds know he lied. And they're going to pick him up and Angelo up because they were, you remember, they were so close at one point. They were so close. They knew everything that was going on. They knew everything that was going on. And Jonjolin and Alice were real close at one point. Up until they had a little falling out. And they, 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 they spoke up for him. Oh, the Clarys are great people. 
Even after these text messages come out, oh, we can't talk about it. I can't wait for these motherfuckers to get locked up and R. Kelly to go free. The parents are the criminal enterprise. The parents violated the Man Act, not R. Kelly. The parents and only the parents are accountable for their whoring daughters. They raised their daughters to be whores. They raise their daughters to be sluts. They raise their daughters to learn how to finesse men. They're the criminals. They're the enterprise. R. Kelly not an enterprise and he has never committed a crime in his life. And he deserves to go free. He spent too much time in jail. And for anybody who think, well, he shouldn't have put himself in this position. Don't you think he already sees that after being in jail for almost three years? Don't you think he regrets ever meeting these people? Why y'all always got to kick somebody when they down? When R. Kelly get out, he not going to have nobody around him. He ain't putting himself back in this shit. This man lost millions of dollars. Tours got canceled. He got dragged all over the world by people who saw surviving R. Kelly and believed these lying ass bitches and these stank unfit parents. You think that when he get out, he gonna have any bitch up in his house? Hell nah. Hell nah. This is it. He ain't putting himself back in this position. This man doesn't deserve this, y'all. The way they created a narrative like this man was kidnapping little black girls and nobody wants to come out and say they were wrong and they apologize to this man no little black girls got fucking kidnapped the parents were serving them up to r kelly on a silver platter and they were lying about their daughter's ages and saying the daughters was 18 to trap them up so they could extort them Every single one of the parents did that and they deserve to be in jail. R. Kelly getting crucified. Yeah, 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 we gonna get him. And the black community was right there to say, yeah, yeah, get him. I swear to God, some black people get on my nerves. With the mentality, always so happy to see somebody go down. Always so happy to see somebody fall. I never had that mentality. R. Kelly locked up almost three years on lies. And you got Alice Clary out here walking around after she told her daughter to go suck dick. And ain't nothing happening to that old, nasty, stink bitch. I can't believe it, y'all. I'm in the twilight zone. Only R. Kelly is being punished. And punished for no reason. Oh, he married Aaliyah. Aaliyah's dead. She never accused him of a fucking crime while she was alive. Aaliyah's mother's been quiet this entire time. Aaliyah wouldn't want this shit. Aaliyah wouldn't associate with these goofy sluts. Oh, the tape, the tape. Did you not see that he got acquitted of the tape? Because that son of a bitch said it wasn't his daughter and it wasn't his daughter. If it was his daughter, he had an opportunity to tell them people that it was his daughter when the trial was going on. I am so tired of people bringing up that old ass tape. It was never proven that R. Kelly was on the tape. It was never proven that it was somebody underage on that tape. And whoever was on that tape is a fucking whore. 
The way y'all love praising whores and calling whores victims is sickening to me. There are no fucking victims. You can't suck a dick willingly and come back 30 years later and expect me to have any type of fucking sympathy. If it's a gun to your head and a knife to your throat, then I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, lock that man up. He raped that girl. Lock him up. But R. Kelly has done none of that. R. Kelly has not had a gun to anybody's head and forced them to fuck. Their parents were sending them over there and telling them to fuck. The parents were the coercion. Parents committed coercion. Don Russell is uh, getting ready to go to a status conference. So I'll be listening to that in the next hour and a half and hear what they got to say. Um, it'll probably be a short status conference. But anyway, I just had to come on here and rant. For a little bit because I'm so sick of these people not being held accountable. I'm so sick of R. Kelly being locked up for lies. Free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, fuck Angelo Clary, fuck Alice Clary, fuck Jonjolin Savage, fuck Tim Savage. I want all of these nasty parents locked the fuck up. <laughs>